So you're gonna call the cops now? What's that? I actually, yeah, yeah. Okay. Why are you calling the cops? Because you're parked illegally. On today's episode of how fucked up is fucked up. That's fucked up. It doesn't take that long. It doesn't take like to speak to the manager and move to another table. That's all you had to do if it was a huge issue for you. Karen, you have a great day. Okay. Yeah, that's you know it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Tanisha or whatever. Excuse me? Okay, so we'll be at Tanisha. We will be at Tanisha. Okay then. I'm a Thank nurse you. and she's a professor. So you have Thank several you. seats. Exactly. You have several seats. Obviously you're dining by yourself for a reason. So an eight-year-old kid? You're defending yourself to so an eight-year-old kid? Yeah. Are you serious? After he tried to hit me for the first time. An eight-year-old kid? Yeah. You want to curse an eight-year-old kid out? That if he was a white kid, would you do that? Yes, would I you would. have said that to a little white kid? Absolutely. Absolutely. Where do you get this? Where do, you, where do kids get this barbaric information from that you can come in my community and talk to our kids like that? Because he's riding a motorcycle, a, 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 a toy? He's riding on a toy in your community, right? Where do they ride bikes at? On the street. Okay, but guess what? This is our community. This is, this is their playground. You're you understand? This is their playground. This community and that's rude. Excuse me? You're implying that I'm not a part of this Yeah, y'all came here on the gentrification. This is where we born and raised all our life. This is our backyard. Apologies, we didn't, we don't have a backyard. I started spending money in your community. I started supporting oh your community. I am sorry that you What do money I have to do with charity? What do money have to do with Captain? That's an eight-year-old kid. If his mother was here, y'all would be fighting. And you threatening her child. Your son incredibly poor character right now that he threatened a woman three times. How? How did, time. how, how did he threaten you? Do you think that a child can't get hurt on that bike or How did he threaten you? Person? How did he threaten you though? By going next to me on the sidewalk at a staff speed without any disregard for what he deliberately did that. He deliberately did that. Three three times. Times. How? How? How is this kid tearing around the block? Sad. In a different day and time, things would be different. I didn't have fun. It's oh, all right. Everyone has those bad days yep. where you have to call the cops. Yeah, you think I'm going to be. I, actually, I want to be famous, so that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We probably will just blow your face so out. Everyone has those Wait, well, you got a you Facebook? Blow my face off? No, I said blur your face whoa, off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now you're threatening the oh, that's, that's fine, because guess what? I was recording. What's up? Hi! I, I, oh, yeah. Hi! Alright, boys. Like this video if this bitch is Karen. Hey, my name's Kelsey. Nice to meet you. Okay, well, we'll just blow your face out. No, you're Karen. Your name's Karen. Guess what? I got that on camera. Thank you, God. Uh, no, you, you said blow my face off. I said blur. Blur. But we'll, we'll, we'll no, slow it down. Blow. Slow, so, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. No. Uh, yeah, go ahead. It's fine. Keep talking. Hey. This is Kelsey at uh, um, Walmart again. Walmart. They had just threatened to blow my face off. <laughs> my wife is on her way to pick up our 14 year old son from school, who is now suspended for a week. Why? Well, because he was wearing one of my hats. And a teacher asked him, what does it mean? He said, it means give a Karen a hug. That's my boy thinking quick on his feet. Apparently the teacher responded that she knows who his dad is, me. And she asked him again, so tell me the truth. What does it stand for? <laughs> my son replied, if you know what it stands for, what are you trying to do? Get me to say it so I get in trouble? Get Karen. And why am I not picking up my son? The school specifically asked for my wife to come in and for me to stay at home. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Hope your day's going good. This thunder, Karen. Hopefully she's got a book in there on how to f count. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm calling the police on you. Oh. Because you're skateboarding on the building. They were just... Duh. Watch this Karen freak out about the smallest little dog. 
And who are you? Have a great day. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. You just pulled a knife on me. Dog? You just pulled a knife on me. On your dog. Dog approached me. And what did she do? Your dog what did she do? What did she do? It came at us. What did she do? It came at what us. What did she do? Does she bite you or why we are you freaking stop out? The dog. Get the dog out of here. Her car behind my car in the whole neighborhood because my place from Maine, um, which is none of her business. My play number is on the list, but she's here putting her car my name in is the Lucia. middle. I live in 7 Western Ave, apartment in one. Yeah, ma'am. And this is my spot. This is not your spot. Nobody here pays for a personal spot, ma'am. Excuse me. Excuse you. Spot. Excuse you. This exactly. Move spot. your car. Why is that Move car your there? car. Why exactly. Car we there? park Why anywhere here. There? And we park anywhere here. Look, up. there is no numbers. We are no personal numbers. Nothing. There is no personal. She's literally I'm asking me. She's asking me where, where do I live? Are you a cop? No, okay? She is asking me why matter. Why is my car from Maine? You are uh, and she doesn't believe absent. that I don't live here. Man, move You're your car it. so I can leave now. You wait. I got shit to do. I'm not fucking lazy yeah, like, like you. Move your you. car so I can leave. I Period. This is my spot. I know the Karen. Here's the Karen. Don't forget. Here you are, Karen. Come on, Karen, move your car, Karen. I don't care. Move your car, Karen. I do not care. You don't mind your own business. My play is from me. Okay, and and that was the only free spot earlier. Karen, come on, move. I gotta go. I need this spot. Then move so I can go. Oh my goodness, ignorant people. Always. This is her play number. Bye. 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 Exactly. Bye. Bye bye, Karen. <laughs> She's taking my play number. Go, go for it, girl. <laughs> She's little, no one here pays for a personal spa. All this here. I'm asking you nicely. All this no, here. Yeah, asking. right. Yeah, right. I'm um, all these parking lots here are none, no ones. We live here. I live here. So this lady just told me that I... She looks like one is... If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? Okay, I used to work at Pandora, and like, a lot of stupid things happened to me there, but I feel like this one just was the top one. Keep in mind that this was during Christmas, so you can imagine like the rush that we had. So basically, this man came in and he was buying a ring for his wife. He came in by himself because it was a surprise for his wife. Makes sense. But he said that he was on a budget, so I showed him our clearance section. Anything that is clearance is final sale. You can't return it. Like, nada. Like, nothing. So, I found him a nice ring in his budget, and I told him about her final sale, and he said, yes, I understand, and then that's it. A week later, he came back, and I recognized him. But he came back with his wife. Obviously, I had to help them because I helped him the week before. So, long story short, she said that she just wanted to exchange the sides, and I said I couldn't because this is a final sale item. I can't just exchange it. She then starts yelling at me, saying that nobody told her that it was a last, uh, a final sale item. Part two should be up. Part two of the Pandora story. So as she's yelling at me, I had to stop her, obviously, and I told her that we specifically told her husband many times about the return policy and how she can't return it because it's final sale. She still kept on yelling, so I was pretty much done at this point. I turned around to my manager, and I was like, uh, let's call this person Becky. Uh, I was like, Becky, I can't stand this anymore. And she was like, okay, I got this. My manager didn't want any problems, so we were like, ma'am, we can give you a refund, but that's about it. And this lady was like, okay, yeah, I want the refund, but I'm keeping the ring. 
Obviously, we were like, no, ma'am, we have to keep the ring, but we're going to give you a refund. The main reason she came in was because the ring didn't fare. So why the f*** do you want to keep the ring? So as we're doing the refund process, she gets mad and she was like, oh my god, I hate this place. I'm never coming back here ever again. To which we responded, ma'am, we don't want to see you ever again. Have a lovely day. Friendly. Not friendly. <laughs> Not friendly. We call you a dog. No, train your damn dog before he gets off leash. I'm a stupid. You need to get your dog controlled before you let him off leash. Um, I'm gonna need you to take this back and probably remake it. This is not normally what it looks like when I get a margarita and it tastes different. Oh, um, well, I'm so sorry about that. Let me see if I can figure out what went wrong. I'll be right back. All right, here you are, ma'am. I just made a fresh one for you, so let me know if that's any better. No, it doesn't look any better either. Oh, okay, I'm so sorry. Give you one more chance, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm doing the recipe, right? <sighs> All right, I double checked the recipe. This one should be fine. Yeah, this isn't any better. Mm, okay, I'll fix it. What am I doing wrong? Hey, is everything all right? Lydia keeps sending her margarita back. I'll try using the right glass. Here you are. Perfect. So glad. Seriously? You do not work here. Please do not tell people you work here. If you ask me nicely, I'll leave right now. I'll call the cops. If you ask me nicely, I'll leave right now. Karen, it's okay. Everyone has those days. Get out of my store now. Turn the camera off. And turn that camera off too. I've personally come to find that dealing with Karens at my retail job is a lot easier when instead of getting mad at them or getting mad at the problem, you get mad at somebody who doesn't exist and blame it on them and just raise the intensity by like 100%, like this. Hey, young man, um, there's no paper towels in your women's room and you need to fix that. There was no paper towel. Ted, get up here. I, I am so sorry. I really, really am. It won't happen. Ted. This is the last no paper towels? Are you serious? I am so sorry about that. I, I, it's, 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 not, it's not that serious, you don't have to. No, 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 because I'm so glad you said something. I was looking for a reason to fire him anyway. He's been complaining about not being able to afford his bills and blah, blah, blah. Always complaining about not doing his job. He's done. You've helped me a lot. Thank you, thank you. Ted, get up here! Du bist letzte Woche hier rumgefahren, eine Stunde lang. Du warst das. Was? Eine Stunde mit der Karre, immer in der Runde. Ich hab doch mein Motorrad erst Ist doch scheißegal. Kamera immer am Machen und Tun. Hast du was am Kopf oder was? Ich hab doch gar nichts dran. Du hattest eine Kamera dran, die Lampe war immer an. Ist doch scheißegal, wer das es war. Es ist nicht scheißegal. Vielleicht war es auch keiner von uns. Doch. Und wenn nicht? Was, wenn nicht? Ja, war vielleicht keiner von uns? Ja. Nee, gibt es Doppelgänger von euch? Gibt auch andere. Ja, ja. Wer hat denn letztens die Schneebälle da ins Haus gespielt? Das wart ihr beide. Natürlich. Schneebälle? Aus dem Alter sind wir wohl. Nee, auch. das wart ihr. So was machen wir nicht. Wer bist du denn? Hä? Du heißt Sch oder nicht? Weiß ich nicht. Wie heißt du denn? Das muss ich Ihnen eigentlich nie nee, sagen. Nee, heißt, heißt du nicht Kein Nee. Und du heißt nicht Kein Nee. Und du heißt nicht Und was macht ihr hier? Das ist doch, wir haben uns doch schon ein paar Mal gesehen mit diesem Nummernschild. Immer Folge hast du an der Straße, du standst da schon. Da habe ich wir gesagt, das ist ein Fußgängerweg. Wir wollten eben hier sauber machen. Hör mal, sauber machen? Ja, und so das hier, die paar Dinge. Ja, die paar kommen. Dinger. Was für Drogen nehmt ihr eigentlich, dass ihr mich hier verarschen wollt? Ich kenne diese Drogen nicht, die, die so drauf sind. Also ich kenne die Drogen auch ja, nicht. Ja, nee, das Pubertät ist das. Dass das hier ein Fußgängerweg ist, das weiß ich, das weiß jeder. Ja, da fahren wir ja nicht hoch. Wir sind da letztens über den Rasen gefahren. Mit dem Motorrad war das keiner, das ist richtig. Das war irgend so ein, so ein anderer da. Ja, 
sprich, äh, nee, nasse das Sachen ist ein anderes Nummernschild, tatsächlich. Ja? Hast du recht, du bist nicht derjenige, für den ich dich halte. <lacht> Nein, wir ja. wollen unser Moped ein bisschen in Szene ja, setzen. Moped. Und wenn das sie stört, dann ist es ja Guck mal, okay. Was macht ihr hier? Kommt ihr hin, um mich zu provozieren oder was macht ihr hier? Nein. Ich, ich will gar nicht ein... wissen, wie ihr heißt. Okay. Weil es mir scheißegal. Wenn, ja. ich, wenn ich noch mal Scheiße erlebe, rufe ich die Polizei an. Okay. Ja, ja und was wollen ja, die dann? Habt ihr ja nichts gemacht, nicht? Wie, nein, wir fahren hier nicht. Also zum ersten Mal ja. hier. Das ist verboten, Junge. Ich kann sie mal sehen. Ja, nee, will ich auch jetzt gar nicht wissen. Ja, okay. Hier, ich lasse mir mal was einfallen, was man dagegen machen kann. Nicht kaputt machen. Zerstören die Dinger. Nee, nicht zerstören. Das wäre ja Sachbeschädigung. Wegnehmen kann ich es ja auch nicht. Dann wäre das ja Raub, ne? Oder nicht, Chef? Aber die Polizei kann das. Ja, stimmt. Naja, dann fahren wir jetzt nach Hause. Genau.